do an update of this orchid because um, I have discovered something new and uh, I think that I need to choose another orchid to redo the experiment because I have removed a bottom leaf from here and here we can see it has a purple eye around the stem uh, and uh, this is an indication of Fusarium in Phalaenopsis and actually this orchid is presenting all the symptoms for this disease meaning that uh, all the roots died she is having trouble producing new ones if she is producing new, new ones those ones will not live for long the spikes uh, will absorb themselves and uh, start to uh, get infected and this is what she got here so in the past after i have removed the spike uh, this portion uh, managed to rot uh, very very weird and now all uh, both spikes uh, are getting absorbed and uh, more the leaves will um, got a bit more hydrated but um, the little root that I was showing you is not growing it's just not growing she this orchid just doesn't have energy to grow so uh, at this point um, I think I will take it out of the water and um, I don't know maybe I will try to put it uh, with uh, the base in some moss and see how she reacts but because she has this purple um, ring around the stem uh, I know that uh, that is an indication of fusarium I had this thing in the past on our phalaenopsis and in my experience they don't really recover also um, any type of sympodial like vandas when they are uh, not very big when they done, do not have a very long stem so I don't have where to cut into healthy tissue usually I am um, seeing this uh, thing happening and uh, that is that I cannot do anything about that and uh, I will uh, try to redo this experiment when I will have a healthy Meltoniopsis let's say but uh, with uh, no roots because um sometimes you can purchase meltoniob oh i just said meltoniopsis i was referring at phalaenopsis so you can purchase a phalaenopsis uh and uh it does has very poor roots and uh, the medium is very old decomposed and when you are trying to uh, put her in semi hydro all the roots will die and that is a perfect uh, example for what i will be looking for and when i will see such an orchid i will put it um, in uh, the same uh, situation and see how she reacts because i really want to do this experiment i think it's really interesting so yeah guys i will close the video now i'm sorry i cannot do this um and uh show to you more updates yeah. thank you very much for watching and see you all next time bye